pretty ready, man. I mean, trying not to get too ahead of myself and everything like that. It's just another opportunity, another week to come out, play with my with my guys in that locker room, and a uh, great opportunity to come and uh, play at home this week. So super excited. You feel like the Big 12 is wide open right now? Yes, sir. A whole bunch of good teams in the Big 12, and you see that every single week with Baylor beating a really good Iowa State team. And Baylor's a really good team themselves, and really close game last week with OU and West Virginia, 16-13, uh, and a uh, crazy ending. So just seeing all these great teams in uh, the Big 12, and we think we have a really good team ourselves, so it's going to be a great great time, uh, a great year in the Big 12. And you got the top five, top ten team coming in here. How keyed up do you feel like the fans will be this weekend? I think it'll be a big time atmosphere just because we're right here in Manhattan. Uh, everybody, every single time that I've played here, even whenever it was COVID, we had that kind of atmosphere that was kind of like, hey, these people love Kansas State football. So I feel like it's not going to change this week. And uh, no matter who we're playing, they're always going to show up and be exactly who they are. What is it about this matchup that you think brings out the best in Kansas State every year? I don't know, man. It's because uh, it's I got to watch the game whenever I was a senior in high school, uh, and it's just kind of how they played. It was like one of those things where it's like, man, like, that's, this is a team that, that can kind of – almost like a giant slayer in a sense. But it's, I don't think it's like that. I think it's the fact that every single week we come out and we just prepare – to go and play our best football game every Saturday and uh, things kind of get clicking at some point and uh, whenever we're all together as a, as a unit, as one, we're a really, really good football team and that can't change this week. Coach Kleinman said that uh, Noah, Noah Johnson talking to you yesterday after practice, what was his message? He was really just like, at this point and where we are right now, we can't we can't let anything that we've done in the past and going and forward like deter us from what we're what we're doing. We have to make sure that we're all on top of our P's and Q's and we're being the football team that that we know we can be. And uh, I mean, he's such a he's a leader of, of men. And the way that he uh, he really talks to us after practice in the meeting room, uh, whether that be in the in the weight room and things like that, the way that he conducts himself and the way that he expects us to conduct ourselves is really big time. We're we're really thankful to have him. Do so much does the passing game need to evolve for you guys to be a more balanced offense? Oh, that's something that we talk about every single day is, and we work on every single day. And, it, and it's not just a culmination of just the passing game. It, it comes from the blocking, the, the pass protection, uh, getting open. It's really just a, a team collective that we all need to get better at, whether that be uh, picking up our blocking assignments in, in the running game, uh, the running backs as well in that, uh, and then just getting open and uh, making the easy passes easy, making the easy catches easy and things like that, and then going and making a play. Uh, it's something that we're working on every single day and something that we hope to involve to help uh, balance our offense as the season progresses. Is there a special chip on your shoulder when you go up against teams like Oklahoma? I feel like there's a special chip on my shoulder every single time I play any team. Uh, this this week's no different. It's another opportunity to go out there and play with my guys in, in front of a sellout home crowd. And man, we're, we're super excited. So uh, no matter who we're playing, it's always going to be a big time chip to go and kind of prove that Kansas State's a really good football team and what we've seen for the past. T 12 months since the season in last year. Being a kid that grew up in Texas, did you grow up disliking Oklahoma? It was, it was, it was a point in time where when my dad coached at UT, I mean, that was what was kind of like bred into your mind that uh, OU was not they. It's it, we're it's we're always against OU. So for that for that two year time period, it was it was really like that. But once once my dad stopped coaching for UT, it was kind of those things where I kind of just watched uh, college football for college football, and they're a great team and they've been for a very very long time, and I'm really excited for the opportunity against them this week. Casey, really good breakdown X's and O's. When you went back and looked at what Oklahoma State did against you guys defensively, what what was it that was working? I mean, really, I feel like they uh, they just kind of, we didn't, it wasn't what they did, it was what we did. We didn't execute the way that we, we should have, uh, where that was uh, missed pass pro uh, assignments. I know I had one as well uh, in there and just uh, just couldn't really get anything going. We, we kicked ourselves in the foot a lot uh, throughout that game. It wasn't necessarily what they were doing. Uh, it was really, it was on us. And I feel like this what, that's what it's going to be like every week. We have to make sure that we're on our P's and Q's and whenever we're doing what we need to do correct, it's it's always going to be about Kansas State, not about the team that's right across from us. So mm -hmm. is, it, is it that simple this week if Oklahoma tries to take away the run, you guys execute better and you can handle that? We're going to need to execute better, absolutely. We feel like if we execute the way that we need to execute, we'll have a, a very, very successful chance to go and be successful on Saturday. So that's all we're worried about right now. With well, that being said, what, what does stand out with 
from what you've seen of Oklahoma's defense? Very fast, athletic. Uh, they're not going to be as long as Oklahoma State, but they're they're athletic. They're fast. They can run. Uh, they they run fit very well. Safeties come down to the box very well. Uh, and man, I just that's the first thing that pops off the screen is how fast they are, and uh, the athletes that they have on the field. When you guys flip the page from OSU to OU. What was Fleming's message? What do you notice about Coach? He was like, at, he he himself took ownership, uh, him and the coaches, for uh, Saturday and then the players. He he said that we have to take some ownership for that as well. It, was, uh, it wasn't us. That wasn't the team that we uh, we feel like we should be putting out there on a Saturday. So it was uh, business as usual when we get back on Monday. So we had practice yesterday, and now we're just getting ready for OU. We're putting that in the rear view. We're getting ready for OU and everything that we need to do throughout this week to get ready for OU is what we're doing.